Okay, so now that we have those basics down, let's kind of get into some of the interesting things about scanning. So if I'm going to go, I'm going to select my new preset to get started. Pick a different one, just soft tissue here. And I'm ready to start scanning. So in 2D, you have a couple options. on, As we discussed, this is your gain control. Your depth, you're going to move up and down. Use the up and down arrows to change the depth. So you can see this is changing the depth here. And kind of a hidden feature that's pretty cool is if I want to use the auto optimization feature, I just press and hold down here and I'll get a little green light right up top. And now that says my auto optimization is on. So it will try and look at the image and try and get the best image based on what it's looking at throughout. And it's just going to try and optimize the contrast resolution for that image. When we went to color, when we had our color box, we change the color gain by spinning here. Exit color. Now, in color with the linear and the color with the sector or the deep probe, there are two different things. For the sector probe, I'm going to switch over. Let's go over to that. Since I was on the linear probe, I'm going to go to the deep probe. I'm going to choose cardiac. And we showed how the up and down and left right changed uh, the steering of the box and the depth of the color area on the linear probe. With the sector probe, you use the buttons to move this region of interest box around. Whereas it's not going to change the steering angle as it would on the linear probe, where I go left and right, it changes the depth, or it steers the color box up and down, changes the depth and color. On the sector probe, these buttons work slightly different, but you still spin to increase or decrease the gain. Now, say I'm scanning and I haven't touched this system in a while. This machine will do an auto freeze after a certain amount of time, and this is something that you'll want to keep on because it does get warm after a little while and it's set to keep it from overheating. So it's just a feature to just help preserve the system. Now, another note about uh, saving cardiac images or using cardiac is something that has a auto cycle where if you get the probe, and exit out of color, go back to 2D, and since I'm in the cardiac, when saving a cardiac image, it's going to try and save a loop. It's going to try and recognize an actual cardiac cycle, meaning when I want to save a loop, instead of saving automatically saving three seconds, which is what it would do, it's going to try and recognize a, a cardiac cycle and give you a one-second loop based on that cycle. So if I had saved in the live image, it's going to store that video. And if it had recognized a single cardiac cycle, it's going to save just one cycle. If it didn't recognize it, it will save three seconds worth of video. The V-Scan will also allow you to store voice notes. So in a live image, if you just press and hold or in a frozen, it'll say recording. And it's automatically recording my voice. And it'll save up to 10 minutes of a voice recording. To stop recording, just hit save again. Now let's say we have those images and we want to review on here the recordings and not connect using the system. We can go to gallery. I press menu, then left, go to gallery. And here we can view all the images scrolling up and down. Here's the voice recording. And if I just click the center, it's going to show me the images that I stored. Click menu to go back to the gallery. And then I can click left and right to go to the various patients that are stored on there. If I want to delete any of the exams, I'm going to sit and press, I'll press the menu button, go to that image that I want to delete, press menu, and it'll allow me to delete the exam or delete the file. So if I just click left or right, I can go ahead, I'm just going to delete that exam, click OK. OK, press and hold the center to go back to scanning. Let's check out the configuration. Click Config, then we have our setup. Uh, this is about some system software telling you current version. Test, this will go through a system diagnostic test. Setup, it's pretty simple here. Very, very simple. How, how long is it going to take before you're going to have the auto freeze? I would set it, keep it at the default for five minutes. Uh, set the current preset as default, so if you're always doing a, 
like a cardiac you can have that as it opens up it'll automatically go to the cardiac probe and do the cardiac exam reset exam number it'll reset it all the way back to zero how long do you want it to store video length and it's set in seconds so if you only want one or two seconds you can save that that's pretty much it for the system setup it's pretty simple there over here we can go back to the distance and I'll show you how to make a measurement real quick so right now I am on a frozen image which you need to have I go back up choose distance to make the measurement I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna choose distance I'll get my caliper here I can move that cursor around by pressing and holding or just clicking the left and right keys press and hold I can move it a lot quicker across the screen and then make my little micro adjustments press center to get that second caliper and right now I've got it at an ellipse. Can make my distance measurement, hit set again, and then I've got my measurement. Go ahead and I can make another one. And you're good to go. You can go ahead and store that image. Hit enter, hit store, the image is stored, and you're ready to go. Now one last thing, uh, back to the setup. If I actually want to shut it down without closing it, I can go over here and click shut down. And the system will shut down. And you can put it away. You close the lid, put it back on the charger. Let it go charge, plug it in, you can charge it. You can also connect it to USB and use the included software to download those images to your PC. That is beyond what we'll show in the training here. So that concludes the training on the GE V-Scan portable dual probe ultrasound machine. Thank you for watching.